All right, welcome back to another Bee Mother review, and today we have from Prime One Studio. This is Spider-Man 2099. Now, when Prime One announced that they acquired the Marvel license, uh, I don't think I was alone in thinking that you know they're probably going to give us a couple Iron Man, um, you know, Captain America, Hulk, sort of the staple characters, but they really kind of went off the beaten path here and announced their first character as Spider-Man 2099. Now I was kind of taken aback by that but I was happy about it because he's kind of a cool character. Now he came out in the early 90s I think 1992. Um, you know for some people I was kind of the dark ages of comics but I was just kind of getting into it at the time and I remember when this comic came out on the newsstands um, the 2099 universe was kind of this new initiative for Marvel. It was supposed to be really cool and interesting. And it had this really cool cover with this red hologram trim around the outside and everything. I remember looking at it and thinking, that's stupid. Like, who is this guy? That's not Spider-Man. What are they trying to prove here? I, I, I didn't like the character at the start. Um, and I kind of ignored him. For years and years, I didn't give this guy any attention at all. But... Some things are an acquired taste. Now this guy has kind of stuck around. He kind of made a comeback in recent years in the Amazing Spider-Man series. He got his own series again. So he's kind of back um, in the Marvel Universe in a, in a bigger way now. Um, he, he's, he's you know different from Peter Parker. He's not Peter Parker. His real name is Miguel O'Hara. He uh, is half Irish, half Mexican. Uh, and he's obviously from the future now he gets his powers from uh, an experiment gone wrong of course uh, he's got the regular you know, spider-man powers that you would expect you know super strength super agility super durability uh, he can cling to walls with his claws on his hands and feet um, he can shoot webs his webs are organic um, they're built into his arms um, he has enhanced vision. He can see in the dark. He can see long distances. He's got enhanced hearing. He's got um, super speed. So he's so fast that he can kind of like leave behind a, a hologram of himself almost, right? So he, he, he's, he's already gone, but people still see that decoy there. Um, so he's, he's got a lot of cool powers. He's also got uh, fangs as part of his mutation uh, when he turned into Spider-Man and he has a venom that he can paralyze people with with a bite. So he's, he is like Spider-Man but he's got a lot of unique powers that kind of set him apart from the traditional Spider-Man. Uh, so very cool character. I'm happy he came out. Um, but is this statue worthy of being in your collection? Let's get into the review and find out. All right, we're going to move right in to talk about the sculpt and design on this statue. Now, it was sculpted by a guy named Bernardo Cruzero, and he's done a real phenomenal job with this Spider-Man. I mean, I love the physique on him. His muscles uh, are very highly detailed and kind of showing through his costume, but it still looks like he's wearing a costume. He's sculpted the wrinkles and folds in, his, in the fabric. It looks like real fabric that he's wearing. Um... You know, I love the positioning of the fingers with the claws on the ends of the hands. Um, he looks very athletic. He looks very dynamic. Uh, up on his toes, he's ready to pounce. Um, the costume itself has a nice texture to over most of the, the area, but it does have these smooth areas down the legs to kind of mix things up. You know, the seams are all sculpted into the costume. Um, you know, the costume itself is very consistent with the comics. You know, the pattern on the mask, the big uh, spikes on the forearms, the logo on the chest, and he's got his cape here, the airfoil, and it's billowing up into the wind. Um, so you, that gives us element that he's kind of just landed atop the base, and he's ready to pounce into action here. Um, I also like that you can see some of his veins kind of showing through the costume. Uh, it really makes him look ripped but without um, going overboard with the muscle detail so really really nice job there there's also some nice fine details you know you got like the there's the red pattern on the underside of his you know the palm of his hand and underside of his fingers you can look at the underside of his boots are all sculpted and detailed so really really nice job on spider-man uh, i think he looks great um, 
We can move down to the base here. And I pictured this as being sort of a, you know, the top of a futuristic high rise. Uh, I imagine these two rings that he's standing atop kind of rotate around and they're spinning around this dome in the middle. So really, um, I kind of picture this as being a split second in time here where he's kind of jumped down, landed on these rings at just the right moment, and he's ready to spring forward um, and attack whoever, um, you know, he's going after criminals on the roof or whatever. And I can imagine them looking up and seeing this guy in this costume. It's a very intimidating looking costume. Um, so, you know, I, I love the scene that this presents. I think it looks great. Um, as I said, the sculpt looks great. Um, really not much to complain about here. Okay, we're going to quickly run through the paint on this statue. Now, if you start with the base, uh, the paint, you know, it's nothing to gush over or anything. It does look nice. It's got sort of a gunmetal finish to most of it or a metallic uh, gray. Uh, kind of a nice metallic bronzy orange on this dome in the middle. A little bit of that same color on the flat bottom base here. Uh, it looks good, but, you know, really where the paint shines on this statue is on Spider-Man himself. And I can't stress enough how much I love the shade of blue that they've chosen for this statue. It just, it's so rich and vibrant and it just pops. Uh, it looks so, so good in person. And, you know, when you look at, at the costume, it's almost, um, it's got a little bit of a metallic sheen there that just really make, helps this thing pop under the lights. It just looks great. Um, you know, the red is also a nice, rich and vibrant red. Uh, the nice clean lines between the two colors. There's n literally no um, spilling over or slipping on the lines between the two colors. Really nice clean paint job. And, um, you know, they have gone really kind of heavy dark shading in the muscles. And I think that really helps the muscles stand out and give him that sort of sinewy look that Spider-Man usually has. Um, it just done a really phenomenal job with the paintwork on this statue. Uh, as I said, the base is, is good, it's, it's not great, but Spider-Man looks great. And that's really what's most important here. Uh, I love the color, again, so great job on the paint here by Prime One. Okay, so just before we move into production and build quality, I'm just going to point out the exclusive portrait. Uh, it just pops onto the body with a magnet there, so a nice secure fit. Um, they've done a nice job kind of hiding the seams. Uh, I really like this alternate portrait. You got that mask half pulled up. He's bearing those fangs, kind of that unique um, element of his mutation. Um, so as if he didn't look intimidating enough with the mask on, you've got this option here, which would be really, truly scary uh, to, to behold. So. Nice alternate. I don't know if it's totally necessary, but it is a really nice alternate to have uh, that really highlights kind of an important uh, character trait for, for this guy. So let's move on to production and build quality. Uh, I'm not going to disassemble the statue for you because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, the base comes in several pieces. You've got these two pieces of smoke on each side. You've got the flat base. You've got this sort of uh, egg dish almost. Uh, piece here. Uh, you got this dome in the middle and a sort of another egg dish that goes in there. Uh, the dome actually you can twist it, pull it off and inside uh, you can put in two AA batteries and that activates the light up feature. So the button is just right on the top in the middle. Nice LED light up. It changes color. It rotates from yellow to green, blue, purple, red. Uh, so really nice kind of light up feature, feature there. Um, you know, the body is pretty much all one piece aside from the head that comes off. Uh, he fits into the base, you know, both feet have a peg and he's in there pretty solid. Um, overall, it's a pretty uh, nice quality piece. Uh, the one thing I will note, um, on the assembly guide here, which pay very close attention to this as you're putting it together, it says to put this piece of webbing, this line of webbing, onto this spire first and and then you kind of shape it to your liking because it's a wire and you can bend it um, any way you want. I recommend that you shape the wire first then put the spire on 
then attach the webbing because when you look at this spire it is kind of a loose connection and that's sort of the one uh, flaw on the quality of this piece is that loose connection and if you're playing around with the wire while that's on you can pull it out fairly easily and you don't want to break that so uh, be very careful when you're doing um, shaping your web line there um, other than that uh, really nice quality piece now there was a few scratches on the base of mine in the paint uh, nothing too major nothing that's gonna uh, detract too much from the piece uh, unless you're standing really close inspecting every inch of it uh, it's probably gonna look fine on the video you're not gonna notice anything uh, so I'm okay with it um, other than that you know really nice quality piece it's got a nice weight to it it is quite large uh, you know to the top of the spire here it's about 27 inches and you can see how the web line adds a little bit of depth here so we're talking you know depending how you shape it 16 to 18 inches depth and about 14 inches wide this way so big statue it's going to take up a little bit of space on your shelves but i think it's worth it it's a nice quality piece um, uh, so really as other than those two things i mentioned the loose spire and a little few nicks here on the paint nice quality piece from primal Okay, so just before we wrap up this review, I'm just going to caution you, as you unpack the statue, take lots of pictures. It's kind of a complex packing scheme. There's lots of little bits of foam kind of jammed into different places for protection, so you're going to want to take note of that. Take lots of pictures. Um, so anyway, let's fin wrap up the review. Uh, really a fantastic piece from Prime One overall. I love the design of it. Uh, even though the pose is fairly similar to other statues that they've done, it really works here. He's on his toes. He looks athletic and dynamic. Um, I love the costume. I love the color. The blue, as I mentioned, it just, it's just so eye-catching when you see this thing in person. You know, you got this futuristic base. It really paints a scene for me, uh, you know, as he's jumping down and, and ready to attack. I, I like the web line. Adds a nice element to the base. You know the smoke it's just you know the light up feature they really put a lot into the statue i've reviewed a few prime one statues to date uh, you can look back at our channel i've looked at a few batmans uh deathstroke a couple transformers i think this is the best piece from prime one that i've personally seen it just hits hits so many marks uh you know the pose design is great the paint is great you got a nice switch out portrait um really so much to like here. I think it's a great statue. I think if you have any interest in this character, uh, don't hesitate. Go out, get this statue. It looks great. Uh, it's going to look great in your collection. So thanks for watching. We're going to have more for you guys coming up. Uh, lots of different statues coming up. We've got stuff from Kinetiquettes. We've got stuff from HMO. We're going to have the Thanos maquette coming up soon too. So uh, stay tuned to our channel for more reviews. And thanks everybody for watching.